Hi, I'm Johnny Kimmins and I play Boggy in CBBC's Jamie Johnston. First of all, uh, lockdown's not fun, is it? <laughs> I'm in year 11, so I've just managed to skip out on all my GCSE exams, which for me is kind of okay. I wasn't excited for them in any particular way. Uh, but also it means I'm not able to see my friends uh, properly go out or do anything that I was planning to do after I finish my GCSEs, which for me personally is a massive shame. Although, luckily, I don't actually have to do any schoolwork, unlike, I'm sure, many of you. So, sorry about that <laughs> for all you guys. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about some film and TV recommendations I have, and also about upcoming storylines in Jamie Johnson and mental health in general. And the main reason I'm actually here to talk to you is about Jamie Johnson Series 5, but more importantly, mental health issues, not only in Jamie Johnson, but also in your lives too. Obviously, now that we're in lockdown, uh, we're going to be struggling a lot more with our mental health because we're not going to be able to see our friends go out and do leisure activities like going to see films or going to play sport out in the park or, where, or whatever you want to do because, well, we're simply not allowed. We shouldn't let that stop us from building a support network if we're in trouble. Obviously, if you're struggling with stress from school or from panic about the world situation or if you're suffering from a loss of um, a grandparent or a parent or a friend or anyone that is in trouble, then obviously the first thing you have to do is to reach out and talk to someone. I know it's something everyone says, but it's so important. For me, particularly, I know when I was struggling massively with anxiety about two years ago, I didn't talk to someone. I didn't talk to anyone until it was far too late. And by that time, it took me so much longer to become better and become healthier. I know it's hard, I know that you don't want to and you think that you can break this alone, but you really can't. And that's how Boggy feels as well. He's so used to having all of this ability, being able to get through life on his own. You know, he's, he thinks he's okay, but the truth is no one, not even licensed professionals, can take on mental health issues alone. So you always need to build that support network, talk to someone, but most importantly, don't go alone. Always make sure people are checking up on you, make sure you're checking up on yourself, particularly. And that's how you stay safe, in my opinion. I've been asked to talk about a character that inspires me, and I would say Dylan Simmons. Originally, in the first few series, he was really cold-hearted, really cruel to Jamie and to Boggy and to Jack, and just not a nice person to be around. His friends weren't really his friends, and all that. But after he realised that he could be a better person, he decided that he was going to be. And now, today, while he still has rivalry with some of the other characters, and, you know, he still has his outbursts and everything, Dylan is a fantastic character, a great person, and is someone that I think we should all look up to. Because it says, you know, we can change as people. If you make the decision to make yourself a better person, then you can be. And that's what I think is really important in life. I'm going to start off with some films that I think are suitable for everyone, the whole family to enjoy, and it should be a lot of fun. So, first of all, up on Netflix recently, but I'm sure you can find them through uh, any other source, all the Studio Ghibli films are absolutely incredible. The artwork, just by itself, without the plot involved, is just brilliant. You could watch every single frame and see something different every time, and that is why I would always recommend them. But also, the stories are so cute. It's great escapism if you're locked up in a house, nowhere to go, nothing to do. So definitely recommend any Studio Ghibli film that you can come across and see. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which is a 12. It's by Edgar Wright. He's my favourite director. Um, and it's more of a... It's just insane. I can't describe it to you. Don't read up on the plot beforehand because it sounds really stupid. It is really stupid, but it works so well. So give that a watch. Um, it's just great performances, really funny, really visually fantastic. So give that a watch if you can, if you're allowed, or just if you want to. It's not offensive or anything, so go ahead. I'm not a big fan of TV dramas. I think a lot of them are a bit too uh, down in the dumps. I just want something to cheer me up every now and again. So these are three of my go-to cheer me up, happy time sitcoms that I would recommend to everyone. Uh, Community, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and The Good Place, in that order, are um, my top three TV shows. They're, personally for me, really funny. They're not... 
offensive, you can turn them on and you can switch your brain off if you want to, or you can really look into them and get a few kind of interesting messages from them, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and The Good Place particularly. If you're not interested in film and TV, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, it's great, um, then if you're just going for a game, Minecraft, classic, favourite. What isn't there to like? You can do whatever you want all the time and just build a nice little blocky house, live your life away from all your troubles. Go fishing. Stay safe, uh, have a good time in your life, and enjoy, you know, whatever you're gonna do.